Hey, screw Ted Cruz. There, there it is. I'm putting that on the table right now. Ted Cruz, Senator Ted Cruz from Texas. Respectfully, sir, screw you. My, my God, we, I spend an inordinate amount of my time, right, talking about all of these Republicans and conservatives, people I know. I know Ted Cruz. I know Jim Jordan. I know Mark Meadows. I know these guys. I know Mick Mulvaney. I know Rand Paul. I know these guys. I spend so much of my time talking about all of these Republicans and conservatives who have sold their damn freaking souls to Donald Trump. Seems like I talk about that every day. Maybe maybe that's my role. Maybe that's my job. That's my purpose. Because I refused to sell my soul. And so I lost my radio show. I lost everything I had because I refused to sell my soul. Maybe it's my purpose to point out all of these Republicans and conservatives who have sold their souls. And it's a long list. I don't know, though, when it comes to... When it comes to the most pathetic and extreme examples of people who have sold their souls on my side, Republicans and conservatives, there may be nobody more pathetic and despicable than Lindsey Graham. A, on Lindsey, right? Definitely on Lindsey, right? I mean, Lindsey's off the charts. And oh my God, South Carolina, South Carolina, please do the right thing and send Lindsey Graham home, man. Kick him in the ass. He's got to lose in November. I am not a Democrat. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm not a Democrat. I am not at all a Democrat. But Lindsey Graham has to lose. He's been there too long. And his turn on Trump, he didn't believe a word he says. I mean, it was only two, three years ago he was saying the worst, most horrible things about the, 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 the most accurate things about Donald Trump. He turned on a dime. And by the way, Lindsey Graham would not have turned on a dime if John McCain were still alive. Guaranteed. Lindsey's got to go vote for his Democratic opponent, Jamie Harrison. But outside of Lindsey Graham, there may be nobody more just pathetically despicable in how they've sold their soul than Ted Cruz. I mean, Donald Trump, just like three, four years ago, Accused Ted Cruz's dad of killing JFK, President Kennedy. Donald Trump, three, four years ago, called Ted Cruz's wife ugly on a public stage in front of the world. He called Ted Cruz's wife ugly. Now, I'm sorry. OK, I've been in Congress, right? You can call me an ex, a former politician. I like the gig. It was good being in Congress. I'd like to be there again one day. I probably never will. I- I'm telling you what I you call I, I, I you call my wife ugly. I'm never forgiven you. Never. But Ted Cruz doesn't give a damn. All Ted Cruz cares about is he's got this idea that he's going to be president. He wants to run for president in 2024. Why did Ted Cruz sell his soul? Because he wants to run for president, right? Ted Cruz, just three, four, five years ago, three, four, five years ago, called Donald Trump a pathological liar, said that Donald Trump was unfit. He called Donald Trump amoral, amoral, unfit, a pathological liar. Today... Ted Cruz washes Donald Trump's feet. He wipes Donald Trump's brow. He worships Trump. He sold his soul. And to have Donald Trump call your wife ugly, ugly, a dog. (laughs) Boy, Teddy. Wouldn't want it. Wouldn't want if that's the way you're going to defend. If that's the way you're going to defend your wife, the love of your life, that you will basically uh, bow down and be obedient to the man, the one who called her ugly man. I wouldn't want to be your spouse. Screw Ted Cruz. He he, he just typifies 
everything that's wrong, everything that's bad, everything that sucks about my former party, the Republican Party, now the cult, the Republican cult. He just typifies everything bad. And it's so flagrantly obvious what he's doing. All he cares about is, I want to run for president in 2024, so to do that, I now will turn on a dime, and I will say nothing but the best about Donald Trump. Yeah, I'm bringing this up uh, because, and and I know you don't know this, and that's okay, because it's just a Twitter thing, but Matt, do you know who uh, Matt Gates is? A uh, uh, Republican Florida congressman. I mean, he's an absolute freaking tool. He's a Republican congressman from Florida. He's just a tool. He's an idiot, and he is another Donald Trump servant. Matt Gates is a Donald Trump servant. So Matt Gates last week <clears throat> introduces a bill. The, the uh, U.S. women's soccer team. Uh, I believe, said they don't want the national anthem played at their events anymore. Okay, I disagree, but it's a free country. They're free to do it. They're free to say it, right? Well, Matt Gates introduces a piece of legislation that any you know, the U.S. soccer team, any team representing this country, uh, they must play the national anthem before their games or we will take away their funding. Oh, serenity now, serenity now. What? A, it, it, and you wonder, I don't, why I left this party, the stupid, the Republican Party has become the stupid party, the un-American party. Excuse me, Matt Gates. the fucking First Amendment, the First Amendment, Congress shall not, t- t- shall do no, c- good God. Free speech. Congress cutting off funding from a U.S. women's soccer team if they don't play the national anthem before their games. My party is the stupid party. And again, the un-American party, because the First Amendment's really clear. Congress shall make no law. Congress shall make no law. Congress shall make no law. Ba 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 Or prohibiting, ba 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 Abridging the freedom of speech. I'm cutting to the appropriate section. Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. So there's Gates, right? I don't, you know, again, he's stupid, but he's, he's, he's following Donald Trump into, into the stupid hole, uh, proposing a piece of legislation that goes against the Constitution of the United States, because maybe it'll play with a bunch of his yahoos. So Gates puts forward this piece of legislation. And do you know who Ron Perlman is? Uh, Holly, longtime uh, TV film and stage actor Ron Perlman, um, he uh, what was he? He was he was. Uh, I used to watch it, the TV show. Do you remember the TV show Beauty and the Beast? Um, uh, I loved it. Um, uh, and he was also uh, in Hellboy, Hellboy one and two. Uh, he's had a, a, a nice long career, Ron P- Perlman. He's look. He's a uh, he's a solid, committed Hollywood uh, liberal. Okay. Uh, Perlman sees what Matt Gates does, introducing this piece of legislation, uh, cutting off funding to the U.S. soccer team if they don't have the national anthem at their games. Um, and, and Perlman basically attacks Gates, just like I did. What a stupid-ass idea. Goes against freedom, goes against freedom of speech, goes against the First Amendment, goes against America. Um, Matt Gates then engages in a Twitter fight with Ron Perlman, Hollywood actor. And he, uh, he tweets something like, the racial social, the racial justice warrior, Matt Gates calls Ron Perlman, uh, who portrayed a white supremacist leader of a motorcycle game, gang. That's the role that Ron Perlman played in 
Hellboy, uh, the leader of a white supremacist motorcycle gang. By the way, how, how stupid do you have to be? He's calling Ron Perlman a hypocrite because Ron Perlman is a Hollywood liberal who played a white supremacist. Played! Portrayed! Acted in! Not in real life! Matt Gates doesn't even understand the difference. It, Matt Gates doesn't know what acting is. Playing a role. Matt Gates accuses Ron Perlman of being a hypocrite because in, in real life he's a liberal and he played a white supremacist. <laughs> Matt Gates doesn't know what acting is. So Ron Perlman pounced. Thank God Ron Perlman pounced and said, at least I'm not an ass and a white supremacist in real life, blah, blah, blah. So they ensued down this, this Twitter battle. All of yesterday and last night. Enter Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz got nothing better to do. Texas Senator Ted Cruz got nothing better to do. (laughs) We got a pandemic going on. We got a depression going on. We got racial protests all over the country going on. But the the, the, the senator from the state of Texas got nothing better going on than to last night uh, send Ron Perlman attacks. Going after Ron Perlman. Because Ron Perlman is going after Ted Cruz's buddy, Matt Gates. So Ted Cruz tweets at Ron Perlman last night. Listen, Hellboy, alluding to his role in the movie Hellboy. You talk a good game when you've got Hollywood makeup and stuntmen. But I'll bet $10,000 to the non-political charity of your choice that you couldn't last five minutes in the wrestling ring with Jim Jordan without getting pinned. You up for it? Or does your publicist say it's too risky? That's a United States senator who sent that tweet out. Hey, Hellboy, get in a ring with Jim Jordan. I'll donate $5,000 to the charity of your choice if you get in a ring with Jim Jordan. That's a United States senator on a Sunday night. Got nothing better to do but then to imitate his, his, his Lord and Savior, now Donald Trump. Got to be a Twitter ass, a Twitter jerk like Donald Trump. So then Ron Perlman fired back at, at Ted Cruz. By the way, I, I, I retweeted that tweet of Ted Cruz, and I said, I got a better idea, Ted Cruz. I got a better idea. Why don't you, Ted Cruz, I'll donate, Ted Cruz, I'll donate $10,000 to the charity of your choice, Ted Cruz, if you simply get into a wrestling ring with the guy who called your wife ugly. And I don't care who wins. I don't care who wins. I'll $10,000 to the charity of your choice if you get into the ring with the guy who called your wife ugly. That would be Donald Trump. What do you say, Ted? But here's Ted imitating the man who called his wife ugly, trying to replicate the man, Donald Trump, who called his wife ugly, trying to garner praise from the man who called his wife ugly. Ugly. The Republican Party just sucks. It's not a party. I've got to catch myself all the time, and then it's gone and it's done. But Ted Cruz, this is just the worst. You got nothing better to do. And every single day, this guy, again, this guy goes out of his way to sound like Donald Trump, to defend Donald Trump, to be noticed by Donald Trump. Donald Trump called his wife an ugly dog. You don't walk that back. You don't forgive that. If you have any integrity, if you care for your wife at all, defend your wife's honor, Ted Quit defending Donald Trump. Defend your wife's honor, Ted. Ted Cruz perfectly exemplifies these Republicans right now. Nothing is sacred. There is no honor. The only thing that matters is to win. 
And so even though this guy is a bad person, Donald Trump, even in Ted Cruz's own words, he's a pathological liar. It doesn't matter. I want to win. I want to get reelected. Even if this guy, Donald Trump, is amoral, in Ted Cruz's own words, that doesn't matter. I'd like to run for president in 2024. I want to win, so I'm going to worship Donald Trump. Even if Donald Trump is utterly unfit to be president, Ted Cruz's own words. Doesn't matter, man. Doesn't matter. I want to be the uh, inheritor of the Donald Trump voter. So I'll get down on my knees, man. I'll crawl. I'll crawl every day. I'll crawl on my knees and I'll kiss Donald Trump's feet every day. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he accused my dad. You know, Mr. Conspiracy in the White House accused my dad of killing John F. Kennedy. It doesn't matter. I'm Ted Cruz. I want to get reelected and I want to run for president. And it clearly doesn't matter. That he embarrassed your wife, you and your wife, in front of the world by calling your wife ugly. Hey, 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 throw throw your wife under that bus, Ted. You know, you got to get reelected. You do what he have to do. Throw, throw your wife under the bus. Teddy, I got you. I got your back, man. I'm with you, man. You do what you got to do. You want to run for president in 2024. Let your wife get run over, man. Right? That's what you got to do. You got to bow to Donald Trump. You got to bow to Donald Trump. Do it. Screw you, Ted Cruz. I get a lot of people mad at me because I don't believe this party will ever recover. I believe it's done. Ted Cruz is a conservative. I'm a conservative. We probably agree on most issues. Not probably, we do. I will never, ever, ever, ever support Ted Cruz for any election because he sold his soul to Donald Trump. Can't and won't. That's why I think a guy like me is alone if for a long, long time or, or forever politically. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a man without a country. I'm a man without a party. I can't run for anything because what I just said about Todd, Ted Cruz, uh, I'll, I'll call him Todd. Todd Cruz, I, I can never support Nikki Haley. I can never support Marco Rubio. Uh, I can never support any of these Republicans uh, who have uh, decided to um, sell their souls to support this unfit person in the White House. A lot of people feel like I do. So we, we don't have an option in the future. But I don't think there's anybody. Lindsey Graham might be the only one who's right up there with Ted. Just pathetic. I, I'm sorry. And, and here's the bottom line. Ted Cruz is not a dummy. Ted Cruz knows that everything he said about Donald Trump three years ago, four years ago, is true. He's, a, he's amoral. He's unfit. He's a pathological liar. So, so think about it. Put yourself in Ted Cruz's head just for a minute here. I know it ain't easy. Just do it. Put yourself in Ted Cruz's head. He knows everything he said about Donald Trump four years ago is true. He still believes it. But yet he says the exact opposite now about Donald Trump. And by the way, Ted Cruz... Unlike many Republicans who've, who've cowered, like a Marco Rubio, who've just tried to stay silent, Marco, little Marco hides under his desk, just hoping that the Trump storm will, it will pass, right? Ted Cruz has gone out of his way to be one of the more outspoken Donald Trump supporters. Think about that. That's how pathetically Ted Cruz has sold his soul. He's tried to be very active an active Trump supporter, an outspoken Trump supporter, an outspoken supporter of Trumpism. I mean, look at him. On a Sunday night, he's going after a Hollywood actor only because he wants to be noticed by Donald Trump. Ted Cruz does shit like this every day. That's what makes his selling of his soul even more despicable. Ted, he called your wife ugly. 
Shame on you. Shame on you for selling your soul to the man who told the world your wife is ugly. I, I, I want to apologize to Heidi. You won't. I will. Heidi, I'm, I'm sorry that Donald Trump said that. I will not support Donald Trump, and you're not my wife because he said that about you. Your husband won't defend you. Your husband will bow down and, and kiss Donald Trump's feet every day. I won't because Heidi Cruz, you know Donald Trump's a bad guy. You know it. So I'll, I'll defend you, Heidi. I'll defend you, Heidi. Your husband won't. This is Fuck Silence. Thank you for listening. Go uh, to the website, subscribe so that you get notifications. I'm former Congressman Joe Walsh. Thank you for listening. I do this two, three, four times a week. Uh, Go to fsilencepodcast.com. That's F as in Frank, fsilencepodcast.com. Subscribe so you get notifications. Tell your friends and your family about this podcast. You can catch it anywhere. Um, thank you. Again, that's fsilencepodcast.com. Be your own man. Be your own woman. Speak your own truth. Don't compromise. We'll compromise, but don't be a hypocrite. Be consistent. Be brave. Don't be afraid to come out of your political corners and your political tribes. Be brave. Be brave.